Meta Connect was today. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the 15 important features you need to know before pre-ordering the Quest 3. Let's begin with the overview design. So on one end, you'll find a USB-C port and the other part where they didn't talk about is there is indeed a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then underneath these three little dots right down here, this is for the docking station because there's no need to have like a magnetic adapter or anything like that. Now you can just dock your Quest 3 headset and it will automatically charge. In addition to that, you'll find a volume rocker located right here as well as your little IPD slider, which can go between 53 and 75 millimeters. Now for number two, there are two storage choices to choose from. There is a 128 gigabyte version that retails for $499 or you could opt for 512 gigs but goes up to $150 for 650 which to some can be worth it and yes this is actually more storage compared to the Quest Pro which was kind of shocking the Quest Pro is around 250 gigs this is double that and the pros by going with the 500 gig version is you not only get a free game but you also have access to the Meta the Meta Quest Plus for six months meanwhile if you go with the 128 gigabyte version you only get received a free game now this quest 3 does feature the next generation xr2 snapdragon processor which meta is saying overall performance is twice as more powerful than the quest 2 ever was which means graphics are much more phenomenal and multitasking and such will be much more easier and a breeze for the quest 3 to actually power through without experiencing any lagginess if you have that experience from the quest 2 like i have and in addition to that this also has 8 gigabytes of internal ram now the pro however does have 12 gigabytes of ram so it didn't receive the full 12 increased performance like the quest pro but i think 8 gigabytes might be good enough for daily use the cameras are indeed full rgb cameras which means when you enable pass through you'll be able to see your room in in full colors with in-depth sensors for AR mixed reality experience gaming as well. Now something that caught me off guard is the new improved boundary because now it's actually using AI. So once you put the headset on, the headset itself is able to detect and know what's a safe zone to play at. So you don't have to make a line or anything like that anymore. Now there are a lot of accessories coming out for the quest. On day one, you can easily add a dock, the elite strap, a carrying case as well as personalization now for $50 you can actually select between the orange blue these like off color options so if you like to personalize your quest you can but in my opinion I think this uh the color option should have been included and in free as an example like you have the option of selecting black orange or blue instead of having to actually purchase that additional color but an interesting thing that a lot of people I'm sure were curious about is yes it is compatible with the Quest Pro controllers because for $299, you can actually add these. Now, all VR games that are currently available on the Quest 2 are indeed compatible on the Quest 3 as during launch, it will have access to over 500 games that are currently available and optimized for the Quest 3. So that's a nice feature. But now let's talk about the resolution. When you compare it against the Quest Pro as well as the Quest 2, the resolution per eye is much higher than ever before as the resolution is 2064 by 2208 with 90 Hz display, which is much higher than the Quest 2 as well as the Quest Pro and the Hertz refresh rate, it's identical to the Pro. And if I get the spec sheets right now on my phone, so the Quest 2 had an 18, 32 by 1920 pixel per eye and then the quest pro is just 1920 by 1800 per eye yeah this is definitely an increase in overall resolution so the image and everything should be picture clear clearer than ever before which makes sense why they were featuring private theaters and stuff while viewing content i think the, um, the screen door effects and everything else seems like it's been fully eliminated but these are lcd displays not oleds now there's no mention about the fob but there's a lot of information out there available about early leaks they're all claiming the quest 3 is able to actually have an fob of 110 degrees now the quest 3 will ship out with pancake lens which are amazing which means if you wear glasses like i do you should be able to fit them underneath just fine without having a fear of them accidentally tapping on the lens and scratching them them up and these lenses are specified on meta's website to be a 4k infinity display supporting the fact that these should look a lot clearer than ever before even clearer than the quest pro other improvements are sound because on meta's website they actually feature this as a unique feature for the quest 3 as it's said to be able to deliver immersive audio than ever before very similar to like 3d audio i'm assuming 
Now the controllers are indeed ring free and they look very similar to the Quest Pro controllers, which are nice. These controllers are super nice and comfortable to grip and are set to feature the true touch haptic feedback, just like the Quest Pro controllers. Now the Quest 3 will continue to be using Android as their source code. And the benefits of this is Meta is actually acknowledging this. So it will actually support third party apps that you'll typically expect to find on Android tablets or Android phones. One great example is they were talking about the capability to use this VR headset for Xbox Cloud Gaming, easily making the Quest 3 a perfect go-to headset if you need a portable monitor on the go. Now inside the packaging, nothing out of the ordinary. You have all the standard stuff. Unfortunately, they still rely on third party batteries to charge these things. So you do need to have AA batteries, but you get the headset, the two controllers, batteries, and a USB-C cable as well as the power bank to power and charge your VR headset. And under a single charge, the headset is able to last two to three hours, very similar to like the Quest 2. So no battery improvement, unfortunately. Now pre-orders are live today at the time of making this video, and the headset will become available on October 10th. And if you're looking to get a referral code, I'll be sure to include mine in the description down below. This way we both get a nice little discount as you and I will both receive $30 free meta credits if you actually use that link and check out and pre-order your headset with that link. And we can use it to like buy some games for free. So if I helped you out in any single way, I'll greatly appreciate it if you can actually use that link. If not, don't worry. It's not the end of the world. Aside from that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.